Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go to Lowe's. We're going to pick up some lumber so we can fix that swing set that almost killed us. The kids are super excited. Um, we're going to take you along with us. Also, I got a new shirt in the mail. On the live chat the other day, I won this awesome shirt. So thank you so much, Jen. I'm going to represent you today. You guys head on over to her channel and check her out. Uh, we love that she's always giving shout outs and promoting other people. On the back it says love well. So go check out Simple uh, Jan Homestead and we're going to take you along with us today. Video in before we go out because it's super windy and so didn't want you to have to listen to that. Come along. We're going to head into Lowe's to get our stuff for the swing set. You guys ready? Ready. Yeah. You going to swing high when we get it fixed? Yeah. Yeah. What would you guys find? You're going to turn it on? Yeah. I don't think you can. You're going to go mow some grass? Yeah. No green grass yet. We'll be soon though, won't there? Ransom, push your glasses up. <laughs> All right, we're going to get us a new top beam for that swing set. What size are we getting? Four by six by 12. Four by six by, s four by, six by 12 treated. You need me to help you? No, nah, he's muscle man. It's the worst thing about those. Crooked lumber? Crooked lumber. Hey, we're trying to get them to sponsor us. Quit talking bad about their lumber. Uh, this is great. <laughs> their lumber is all straight, every board. Piece number six, seeing if it's straight. Seventh time the charm. You sure you got it? Oh yeah, not heavy at all. For the four posts. For the four posts, we gotta get new posts too. So I had to crawl up here so I could help Mary get the wood down. Hang on, I gotta get a bit of footing. No. That one looks crooked too, doesn't it? Yeah, but... Semi straight. One straight one, one semi straight one. And then I think we'll get this one in the very back. How many did we need? Four. Oh. There's only three. There's four legs. I mean, there's only three straight ones. And then you pick the worst, the best of the worst. All right, we finally found another one. Four, four by four by 12. One, four by six by 12. Your kids have made a jungle gym over there. Whose kids are these? Alright, well we're going to get started on the, uh, the rebuild of the swing set. First thing we have to do is take off these legs, or at least one of the legs. And I want to use the, the leg that's in here for a pattern um, to create cut on my new post. So right here, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but these legs attach to this beam right up here at the top. And this is also a good angle where you can see what happened on the beam. You can see that when these were put in, uh, hopefully you can see that when these uh, eye bolts are put in to hang the the swings off of they went through there water probably got in here froze busted froze busted year after year uh it came out to the point that it just cracked this beam out completely which made it weak 
um, which we're glad we discovered now instead of later. Uh, so anyway, that that's uh, probably the main problem that happened with this and why it, why it rotted. We'll go ahead and get started with taking off these these legs. And I'm gonna try to reuse all the hardware. So I'm gonna save everything that I can here. If it's good enough, if not, I think I have some bolts like this um, from when I built the house. So I can just reuse them. So anyway, that's a look at what we're doing right now. Just taking off these legs and gonna try to use them as a pattern to cut, cut the new legs. And again, just to give you a little better idea what I'm talking about, the top of these posts right here, you can see how this is cut on them. So I'm just going to create that same cut uh, on the new posts. Battery's dead. All right. Charged up battery, back in business. Hopefully, this will come off now. I got the post, as you can tell, off now. I'm gonna go recreate this cut right here. So I'm just gonna use these, this old post as uh, kind of a template um, since I'm going back with the same design. You look right in here, this post is really a solid post. I mean, there, it has, um, it looks like it was weather treated. And so what we're gonna do is reuse these posts since they're long enough on the section of the swing set that has a little deck for the kids to use as a slide. So we're gonna reuse these, they're good posts. We cut them off so they're not quite as long as we wanted them to be after we cut them off because I wanna try to cement the new ones in the ground. But these should be long enough to, to use on a different part of the swing set. Clean that up a little bit so you guys can see. Got to do that times four, and we'll be good to go when putting it back together. All right, well, it took a little bit of work. Had to switch saws out, but I have all my angles cut um, off my 
pattern there from the old swing set. Ended up going to a different saw, but we got it done. And now I need to go put out a bell of hay and feed the cows and make sure they're taken care of. So I'm gonna have to call today on the swing set, but tomorrow is nice weather. So uh, until tomorrow. Gary's gonna back the trailer into the shop for the night, just in case we get any weather. Also, no reason to leave it outside. One time we went to uh, Mathis Brothers to get some furniture for my sister. Gary took his trailer and he backed it straight into their warehouse. It was raining and the guy was like, you've done that a time or two, haven't you? And Gary's like, uh, yes, sir. Been back in a trailer my whole life. And he's like, most people, it takes about 10 tries. <laughs> Gary's a pretty good trailer backer.